Hey guys, it's Sharp Toys Movies. Today, doing a video for Mario Month of November. Today, we're doing Super Mario Brothers 3. So, if you didn't catch it in the last episode, we basically just beat level 1, but we were having trouble with level 2. And I still feel like that trouble will stand. Once OBS Link finds my signal, there we go. Will it search for signal again? Nope. Alright. So, basically we're trying to beat Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, but this guy's in the way. Oh, wait, we gotta be level 1 first. I almost forgot. I'm using turbo buttons, by the way, on my little fake NES that I used to record these. Let's see if we can juke this blooper. We did it! And we got past the other one in time. There we go. Now we can safely kill these bloopers. Come on, that didn't hit you. Yes. And a la two minutes into the video, we beat level one. That usually takes me way longer. But we got it first try! <clears throat> Sadly, that guy did move, but it allows us to access level two, so that's pretty cool. And this was the one I was having lots of trouble with. Until I went back into it and found that there's a star here. And then, since there's a star here, we can actually beat the level. <clears throat> we just gotta go here and... Get the star! What? It despawned? No, no, no way. <clears throat> Alright, so like I said, we gotta go beat it while we we're actually getting the star. And, uh, cause otherwise we can't really beat it. Cause there's just too many enemies. Like I said, too many enemies. And those cheap cheeps, they are annoying in Super Mario Brothers 3. You just... They are just so annoying. I'm just gonna die here because what we gotta do is we have to basically do a, like basically almost a pixel perfect jump. No, I don't wanna go in the Hammer Bro fight. That's annoying as all heck right now. <clears throat> We're trying to beat level 2, which has, by the way, a bunch of glitchiness at the bottom of my screen if you're looking. Because probably my fake NES is having kind of a breakdown right now. Jump. Yes, we got it. Now... Are you kidding me?! So now we gotta make an even more pixel perfect jump to get it before we get on the plat- uh, before- while we uh, before it goes into the water is what we have to do now. And it's- that's even harder to do. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, we did it. We did it. We got out of the water. Now we gotta jump at the edge of- I- 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 
I'm gonna rage so hard this video. Because, uh... <clears throat> things are, like, getting real crazy. Like, we gotta, like, beat this level. Or we could beat the Hammer Bros to get past it, but... Uh, we could skip the level. Uh, we could beat the Hammer Bros, or we could use the Lakitu Cloud or Warp Whistle. But I think we should save both of those for more challenging levels. Like, maybe like the last level before the Fortress in World 8, I think we'll use our Lakitu Cloud on. Unless you get another one later in the story, because, um... After World 4, after World 3 is what I'm, or, or World 4, because after that, how did we do that? <coughs> because after that, we're going to have used our Warp Whistle already. After we beat World 4, is what I'm saying. Silly thing, you can't go through walls. We juked him! Now we got the fire flower. Now that changes everything. The fire flower just makes it like a running gun stage. Is what we gotta do. So, in honor of the fire flower, we're gonna try to beat the level. If we fall in the water as Fire Mario, we lose everything. We don't really need to get the question mark block, because it's just another fire flower. But we'll hit it anyway. Might as well for the points. Like I said, the fire flower was gonna make this a complete joke. Until I realized that these sheep sheeps are annoying and stupid. So what they will do is sometimes they'll They can go super fast, and this water has cheap cheeps underneath it that you can't see. That's just so annoying because you gotta go, like, pretty fast, but you gotta, like, avoid them, but you also gotta go fast if you're in the water. You're just, you just die. And the thing is, they jump out of the water, which makes it annoying. So now we gotta... And once the star goes underwater, it die it loses its value also. I did this once with a Tanuki suit. Once. And I had to use a Tanuki suit to get this. I have to ins survive like insane RNG right now. Which is why I don't like the Hammer Bro fights uh, Fire Flower list. Because with the Fire Flower, they're just a joke. Because you can... You can, uh, they will take damage from it. I think these cheap cheeps might actually respawn if you don't. What? I was invincible and I died from the... This is not fair! Oh, I think I might have touched the bottom, but... Can you really die if you're invincible? I never knew that before. I never knew there were ways to die while you were invincible. So now I gotta jump over this. Get the star. Then just run. Okay, we found our game plan. We found our game plan. First we have to beat level one. Then, we have to hopefully beat the Hammer Bros, because they're going to come after us at the, after this. Then, we're going to get the star in level 2, and then we're going to hopefully re- con Like, continue our- 
adventure of the levels. And hopefully get to a, a new level because these are It just feels like I have to beat the odds right now. Oh, this will allow us to take an extra hit while we're at the, uh... The, uh, Hammer Bros. That'll be nice. We could probably at least beat at least one of them. Oh, wait, they move over there? Awesome! So now, we can both get the Fire Flower and get the star, which will be, like, the combo. Luckily, we can still get the fire flower. What? You don't go into fire flower, Mario, if you get a fire flower. Okay. Now we just gotta... S I blew it! I blew it! Now we just gotta swim for it. Hey, we were actually getting pretty far by using the... Hey, we got pretty far with swimming. I can, I can tell you that much. We got pretty far with swimming. So, now we just gotta be kind of precise. We gotta be kind of a master here. And get this to then jump over. Go up, stop and die! Hey, hey, I have an idea. And it didn't work. I thought we could maybe jump from that to the question block over there, but no, we can't do that. Like I said, if we get the star, we win. If we die, we lose. And we don't want to lose, so... Let's go ahead and do that. These cheap cheeps are like the equivalent to the snail acorns in your Super Mario Bros. They're that annoying. Hey, we got over. Yes. We're gonna swim. I thought we could swim to victory. We were like just once. It off. And that makes me so sad because we could have done it, but it was just RNG that made us fail. And I don't I don't really like randomness that much. When it's used against you in a video game, app. that that's just unfair. Okay. Activate. Stand. Jump. I don't think I fell down the bottom there, did I? I, did, I want somebody that knows their stuff in the comments to check that out. See if I fell down there or if the cheap cheeps here can't be killed with a star. Okay, that time I definitely fell down. I just don't know if the cheap cheeps underneath will actually hurt me. Okay, 15 minutes. We can go for longer. I just wish the fire flower would allow you to actually take two hits like it does in later games. I just wish I was playing a later game is what I want. Because Nintendo in 1988? Was it when this thing released? 1989? Whenever this thing released, they, they were out of their minds because 
they thought it would be a good idea to just have you automatically lose the power up if you have like a fire flower. I liked it better in newer games. Like way, way better in newer games. They, they, they could improve this so much. I think they even did that for the GBA remake. They changed that that, that up. He's just so annoying. I I can't stress enough how how annoying those bloopers are. They are So what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to have to use the star, quickly hop back on the platform, and then just go as far as we can. It's not even impossible by our standards. I think when you were in the water in the other level, why not here? Good, but 
This is a Troy's Movies video. You expect that we're gonna have a good, easy time with the levels. I always get the worst luck and have the worst skill. Which come together is no, not very good. We can't get that. This would be miles easier, but I don't. Now we're jumping back on the platform. We did it! No, we didn't. This is probably the farthest we've come, though. So I have faith. I think the most crucial part would be both getting the mushroom and this is probably the second most crucial part. The most crucial part is obviously getting the star here with good timing. Wait, there's some blocks. <gasps> we, we were at the end! We were at the end! If we had had the mushroom, we, we would have won that. We would have, we would have, we would have won that. We would have beat that level. We are, uh, 23 minutes, probably one more attempt. We are this close, like we are literally this close to being the level. We were that close. Okay, so the level is kind of short. Yes, this is all going according to plan. This is not going according to plan. And that's that's not good. But ah, but we do have a li two lives left, so we should be able to hopefully with one of them beat this beat this level. This annoying, stupid level. I don't want to have to waste my, uh, I can't believe we actually got it. And I also can't believe we actually wasted it. I, like I said, I don't want to use that Tanuki cloud right now. Or our uh, Lakitu cloud right now. I don't want to actually use that right now. Because it's going to... It's going to help much more later on. And I know it's... I'm making this sound not challenging, but... We got here with the mushroom. We're in our last 
Legaloom! I That's the problem is riding this platform here. That that's a oh, I'm so mad. But I'm gonna have to ex uh, we could probably No no no. I'm gonna have to express that anger in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button. Uh make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single Troy's movies upload. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!